Sometimes confused with his woodwind cousin, the saxophone, the bass clarinet is responsible for bringing the dark, rich tones to his symphony. But lately, the often overlooked instrument has been making its way to the solo scene. And right here in Waterloo, thanks to Catherine Ladano, the bass clarinet is becoming more than second fiddle. To the uninitiated, maybe you could tell us a little bit about what is the bass clarinet. Well, the bass clarinet is its an unusual instrument, something that we don't hear a whole lot about. Um, traditionally, the, the role of the in instrument is really in the background of a symphony or a wind orchestra, playing bass lines, very uninteresting parts. The modern bass clarinet really didn't even come into being until the early to mid-1800s. So there wasn't any solo music even written for it until the mid-1900s, which makes it unique from other instruments. And it's starting to appear a lot more in uh, modern music, in free improvisation, and uh, it's starting to make its way into the symphony orchestras with a much more prominent role than it ever had before. Now, you touched a little bit on uh, free improvisational music. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, free impro improvisation is music without any rules at all. So when you talk about improvisation, most people uh, know of jazz improvisation, and that's sort of what they associate the sounds with. But um, jazz improvisation is quite different because it has uh, very strict rules with it. So you have uh, jazz players have a chart that they work with, and the chart has um, you know the, the chords of you know when are we going to move to this chord and what is the structure and it'll say who solos when. Free improvisation is basically the, the opposite of that. So there are no rules, there's no chord charts, we're not working in specific keys. So it's it's much more reliant on on listening. So when you hear a group of improvisers together um, you may have one person that leads with an idea and the others, you know, make a decision then. Am I going to follow this person? Am I going to present a, a complementary idea? Am I going to play a supporting role? Am I going to solo here? So it's more about listening and really being involved in the, in the moment. Kids today, they seem to be so much into rock band and guitar hero. Are they missing out on something else by not being involved in the broader spectrum of music like free improvisation and getting out in these kind of environments and just exploring where it's going to take them? I think so. Um, I, I really think that uh, musicians today, and, and not just kids playing in rock bands, but you know, even to, to a great extent orchestral musicians too, I think we kind of get caught in, in our very rigid ideas about music and you know, playing exactly what's written on the page or you know, imitating this, this rock tune exactly how you heard it on the radio. Um, you know, orchestras playing uh, you know, Bach and trying to replicate it exactly how it was supposed to be when it was written. And I, I'm classically trained, so I, you know, I grew up with those ideas too, but um, I just sort of reached a point where I think I wanted something else. And, and I find that kind of music to be very uh, restricting. You know, you can be expressive and you can be creative to a certain extent, but you can't really break out of that too much. So I, I think that, that, you know, not just, you know, young rock stars, but I think everyone in music um, could really get a lot out of free improvisation. And I think um, no matter what your skill level, level is, no matter what your experience is or what you know about that type of music, it's going to bring something out of you that, you know, you never thought you had before. And what is the one key thing that you try to bring to your students at Wilfrid Laurier? The thing for me really is, is creativity. I really like to, you know, get students away from the music on the page. Um, and now that's not to say that that's not extremely important. I, I'm a firm believer in, you know, learning to read music and going through that process. But it's taking the students out, then outside of that and, and really coming up with your own ideas. So I think for me, I enjoy the most working with young composers um, and working with people that are just sort of dabbling in improvisation and bringing out their ideas. And that's, I think, what, what I'm most interested in as far as working with young musicians. While the bass clarinet may have only had a few fleeting moments in contemporary recordings, such as the Beatles and King Crimson, its moody and rich sound 
lives on in free improvisational music like that of Catherine Ladano right here in Waterloo. Thank <laughs> you.